Okay. Uh, this is, uh, we are at Children's Hospital right now. I have a Geiger counter, which is right here, actually. And this is actually uh, giving counts of background. However, somebody here is doing a test where they're actually using technetium in eggs uh, for a GI test, and they'll do it also in grape juice. So we're going to go over and check the eggs. And if we do this, thanks for holding that, appreciate it. Um, all of a sudden, I put near the eggs, and you can see it shooting way up. And, and, it's and guess what? It is actually really safe to do. Um, we will talk about half-wise. We'll talk about if it's alpha or beta. Now, one of the things we're going to do with this is I'm just going to lay this paper towel over. When I lay the paper towel over, you can see that we're still getting huge counts, which means it must not be alpha. Okay, it must be something else besides alpha, which my guess would be probably beta or gamma, or a bit of both, which sounds kind of dangerous, but it's not because the half-life is such that. Uh, it'll be gone in a while and won't cause much harm, but we can figure out what's going on with their insides to actually help the person. Okay, so we're back at Children's. There's uh, some gallium in there. There's the x-ray machine you can look up here. And there's that little white dot is then recording the gamma from the gallium. And it's got a short half-life of about six hours. And it's in juice. Pretty cool.